Greetings hobbies, this is Arsene Zavall and in this video we're carrying on looking at the machine tools add-on and we're going to be having a look at the smart face feature. So at this point I've already covered the align tools, the smart edge and the smart vertex features and this is all in one playlist and I've put a link in the top right hand corner to that playlist so you can have a look at any of those that you've missed out and hopefully having these as separate videos is being useful to anyone that's searching for one thing so you've got one shorter video as opposed to lots. Now as you can see on the screen the smart face tool is located as its own tool set and you need to have that activated. And then as always, go to save preferences, or if you've got auto save preferences on, you can just close it. So what we're gonna have a look at in this video is quickly comparing this to what it's very similar to, which is the fill tool, which Blender has natively. So we're gonna have a look at what the differences are and why this is such a more powerful tool. Now, so we can compare this, I'm going to bring in a quad sphere. If you don't have a quad sphere as an option, it's because you haven't got machine tools yet. Machine tools gives you this as an option and a quad sphere is just a sphere that has got every single point being a quad. So it stops you having lots of problems where a normal sphere would have in this top bit, a pole that has lots and lots of different points attached to it. So this is quite useful for doing things like subdividing further. And it's generally a bit of a nicer thing to use that you can create one yourself, but machine tools is free so why bother so to have a look at this what we're going to do is we're going to compare the smart face tool to a tool that's native in blender which is the fill option so i'm just going to go into edge mode here i'm going to select a few edges at the bottom here and just delete those out and then i'm going to go back into object mode and i'm going to shift and d and press y to keep that on the y-axis and we've got one here and we're going to use the smart face tool on this one which has the shortcut four so let's go into this and I'm gonna go into edge mode and I'm gonna select this edge. In fact, actually, let's do this the way that people start off with. So a lot of people think that to use the fill tool, you'd have to select each of the vertices that you want and then you press F and it fills it. Now, actually, if I go into edge mode, it is a bit smarter than this. If I just select that edge there and I press F, you'll see that at each point, it's going to fill this in because it can work out, well, here's the edge that's been selected. I've got edges coming off of it and there's vertices that we can't see and it works it all out for us. So it is a relatively smart tool. Now, if I come into this object and go into edge mode again, this will do exactly the same thing. So if I press four, it does exactly the same calculations. It can also do it just from one vertex. So if I press four there, it will carry on doing this and it's worked out, well, the next easiest point here is if you've got those two vertices selected and it carries on going. So at this point, it's the same thing. Nothing really to write home about. Now let's get into a bit more of a difficult situation. Now each time I'm gonna delete this just so we know that we're working off the same base object. So I'm gonna go into vertex mode and this time instead of just deleting the edges, I'm gonna delete these four vertices. So let's delete the vertices. And then again, object, shift and D, and we've got our other version of it over here. So let's try this with the face tool. So I'm gonna go into, I don't know, uh, edge mode and select this one and press F. And you'll notice straight away, this tries to create a quad. So we've got one, two, three, four vertices here, and then it's gonna carry on going here, 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 there, and yeah, it's sort of had a go at it. And if I undo this, I could try and do this another way. So for example, I might try and go, well, I'm gonna actually just select those vertices. But you'll notice because there's not a vertex here, I can't make this perfect. And if I press F, it's gonna create a triangle. And then if I go into, let's say, edge mode and come here and then do it again. Again, it's trying to make quads. It does its best, it's not great. Now, if I come over to this one and go into vertex mode and select this vertex and press four, you'll see it is automatically generated a vertex where it thinks it's most likely to need one. And then automatically jumps up to the next set of vertices where it thinks it's going to be able to carry on creating the next set of faces. So if I press four, you'll notice it jumps again and so on until we've got this object completely filled in. Now, if I go into side view and shift and Z, you can see here we can have a look you've got the vertexes behind it that were the original object so we can sort of use this as a guide and these ones in front are not perfectly aligned to that so i'm not saying this is a perfect tool but if we just go into object mode i think we can agree this one from smart face is vastly better than this one which is using the native tool now 
This does actually get a bit better than this. If I just go into vertex mode and just select some random vertices, let's say something like this. What's really nice here is that actually you can do this for quite large shapes and again it will have a pretty good go at it. Now one thing I will say when doing this is you do need to or you want to start with a vertex that's the inside of a corner. For example if I was to do one here which still has two vertices coming off of it but it's not the inside point so I'd call that the inside of the series of edges. Here if I tried it it will well it just doesn't really do anything and you'll notice here it's made a face on top of another face so you don't want to do that you want to start in this position but at this point I can just four and at this point it's gone I'm not sure where to go so I need to re-click here and again it's not sure let's go here and again not perfect but it's done a much better job. Well, this wouldn't have even worked at all with the fill tool, but it's done a pretty good job of it. So that is the Smart Face tool, a much better version than the standard fill tool. I will say it also does one other thing, which is if I go into face mode and select a load of faces, for example, there and press four, it has the funky feature that it will just create a new object here. And we've got this object on top that's those filled faces. If I press G, you can see it's still got the geometry remaining underneath it. So it hasn't deleted that, but it has now created a replica of it. Now, again, nothing mind-blowing. Effectively, that has just saved you from going into face mode. Shift and D to duplicate them. P, and then separate by selection. So that has exactly the same effect, but it's much quicker. So that is the Smart Face tool, a quick way to duplicate a selection of faces or a way to fill in gaps in your mesh in a bit more of a smart way. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Please do give it a like if you have. And if you want to support the channel further, giving a comment would be really useful or feel free to watch some of my other videos. Have a great day, guys.